that we wanted to make Dinobots and put them into the game and they are kind of an oddball in the Transformers fiction and so we really had to come up with a unique story that made sense to bring these characters to life. Not only were they, frankly, my personal favorite and, and a lot of fans' favorites, Grimlock's a huge character, they have some great gameplay that we can make around being this, this big giant T-Rex. When we came to Hazard to pitch what we really wanted to do with this, this game, they were in the process of creating the Bible of all things Transformers, all the lore and kind of creating this huge binder of, of everything that fit in the universe going forward. Dinobots didn't really have a place where they were trying to figure out where they were going with them. With that, we gave this super impassioned speech about how important the Dinobots were for us, that we desperately need them, and Hasbro gave us the green light. There have been a couple creation stories for the Dinobots in comics and, and G1, and even some, some other kind of fan fiction stuff. All were kind of interesting, but none of those really worked for the story we were trying to tell. Before they were ever Dinobots, the Grimlock and crew existed as a team on Cybertron. Super powerful, battle-hardened warriors. They weren't dinosaurs, they had different shapes. What happens to them, they get captured by maybe the worst guy to get captured by, Shockwave. He is the mad scientist of the Decepticons. What Shockwave has found is a way to open up space bridges. He can go to other worlds. He opens up this technology and is searching through the cosmos to find another planet that has life on it. In the course of his investigations, he finds primordial Earth, Earth 65, 70 million years ago. And as he's investigating, he sees these interesting life forms, dinosaurs. Ah. The log has it labeled as sludge. Must have been Shockwave's design for him. Guess we all have new forms. He turns them into these shapes. He sacrifices some of their mental processing power to give them more physical raw power and hopes to control them and give them these new powerful combat forms. Sort of backfires in the sense that um, it's successful transformation. They are given these new shapes that are super powerful, but nobody controls Grimlock. Yeah.